People often ask me, well, why? why? What's special about light? In, in Einstein's theory, it's not really the speed of light. It's the speed of things that have no mass. So if you have no mass in Einstein's theory, you travel through space and time at the speed of light. And if you have mass, you travel slower than the speed of light. And light happens to be massless. So the photons, the particles of light that are streaming around in the room now, those things are massless particles. Why are they massless? Because they don't interact with something called Higgs bosons. Quantum computers may have just uncovered something deeply unsettling. A new experiment has revealed an anomaly so bizarre that even Brian Cox is warning about its implications. Some scientists speculate it could be evidence of a tachyonic god wave generator, a phenomenon that, if real, could challenge everything we know about physics. This isn't science fiction. Researchers observed quantum fluctuations that appeared to behave as if they were moving faster than light. While mainstream physics suggests this should be impossible, some experts believe it may hint at new, unexplored phenomena within quantum mechanics. If these fluctuations are connected to tachyonic waves, as some theories propose, this could be the first glimpse of a force that operates beyond our current understanding of space and time. If this discovery holds up, it raises an unsettling question. Are we on the verge of unlocking something far more powerful than we can control? Don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing discoveries and deep dives into the mysteries of the universe. Scientists were running a routine quantum experiment, expecting nothing unusual. But what they found was something completely unexplainable, an anomaly that defied the laws of physics. A quantum computer, operating at near absolute zero, produced a fluctuation that should not have been possible. The data showed something moving faster than light. At first, Researchers assumed it was an error, a glitch in the system, but repeated tests showed the same result. This wasn't a malfunction. This was real. Something in the quantum field had shifted, suggesting a force moving beyond the speed of light. If confirmed, this could mean that quantum computers have accidentally tapped into a phenomenon we've only theorized about. One that might involve tachyons, hypothetical particles that exist outside the boundaries of the normal space-time. Some researchers are already calling it the Tachyonic God Wave Generator, a name that hints at both its mystery and potential power. Tachyons are theoretical particles that, instead of gaining speed as they gain energy, like normal matter, would behave in reverse. The more energy they lose, the faster they go. Stranger still, because tachyons move faster than light, they wouldn't experience time the way we do. In theory, they could transmit information backward in time. If quantum computers have just created a fluctuation that mimics tachyonic behavior, could it be possible that tachyons aren't just theoretical after all? And if they do exist, have we just taken the first step toward manipulating time itself? And here's where things get even stranger. When scientists attempted to recreate the anomaly, something shocking happened. The quantum system seemed to respond to a command before it was even given. This defies every law of physics we know. Was this just an error in the system? A glitch in quantum mechanics? Or had scientists just taken their first real step into manipulating time? If tachyonic waves allow information to travel backward, could quantum computers be unknowingly tapping into future data? If quantum computers have truly tapped into something that defies time, then one thing is certain. This discovery isn't staying in the hands of a few researchers for long. The moment an anomaly like this appears, government agencies, defense contractors, and private tech giants are already paying attention. Organizations like DARPA, NASA, Google, and IBM have deep investments in quantum computing. Could they already be running their own secret experiments? And if so, how far ahead are they compared to what has been publicly revealed? If this isn't the first time scientists have observed tachyonic behavior, then it's possible that classified government projects have been silently working on this for years. Could unexplained cosmic signals or strange fluctuations in space-time be linked to experiments just like this? And here's the terrifying thought. What if we've already been affected by tachyonic disturbances without realizing it? If information from the future is reaching us, who or what sent it? Some theorists believe that if tachyonic waves can carry information across time, then advanced civilizations, or even future versions of ourselves, could be attempting to communicate through these quantum anomalies. What if this anomaly isn't just a glitch, but an intentional message? 
Because once information begins leaking through time, whether forward or backward, it can never be fully contained. If we are unknowingly creating ripples across time, then what happens when those ripples start pushing back? If we've truly unlocked a gateway into the tachyonic field, we need to consider something even more unsettling. What if we're not alone in this discovery? Stephen Hawking once speculated that time travel, if possible, could be catastrophic, potentially leading to self-destructive paradoxes or existential threats. What if this experiment is the first step toward proving those warnings correct? What happens if we push too far? And if someone, or something, has already mastered this technology, what if they don't want us to? Brian Cox and other physicists are urging caution. Because if we've truly reached the edge of controlling time, we might not be the ones in control at all. Governments have a long history of keeping revolutionary discoveries under wraps, particularly when they have the potential to alter the balance of power. If quantum computers have truly unlocked a mechanism for manipulating time, then it's highly likely that intelligence agencies, military organizations, and even corporate entities are already scrambling to exploit it. Think about what's at stake. If tachyonic waves can transmit information backward in time, even by fractions of a second, the implications for cybersecurity, financial markets, and warfare are staggering. A system that can predict, or even rewrite, future events would be the most valuable technological asset in history. Could this explain why certain anomalies in the stock market, geopolitical shifts, or even unexplainable military breakthroughs seem to occur just ahead of major world events? If governments have known about tachyonic fluctuations for longer than they admit, what might they be using them for? Some theorists believe secret experiments with time manipulation could already be influencing global events, hidden in classified research programs. And here's the chilling part. What if this isn't the first time humanity has stumbled upon this power? Some historical accounts speak of inexplicable visions of the future, ancient knowledge that seems too advanced for its time, or civilizations that vanished without a trace. Could past societies have uncovered tachyonic disturbances and misused them? If time can be altered, what happens to those who attempt to control it? The idea of retrocausality, the notion that future events can influence the past, has been a growing area of discussion in quantum physics. Some researchers believe that entangled particles may already be demonstrating a form of backward communication at the quantum level. If quantum computers are amplifying this effect, then what happens when this technology advances beyond its current stage? Could we reach a point where the future starts rewriting the present in ways we can no longer predict? Some physicists speculate that if retrocausality is real, then the moment we start manipulating time on a larger scale, we may also begin to experience resistance, anomalies, paradoxes, or even active interference from an unknown source could be signs that there are consequences to tampering with time. And that raises an even bigger question. Who or what is on the other side of this discovery? What if we aren't just passively observing tachyonic waves, but interacting with something that already understands them? Some believe that these anomalies could be a form of communication, a signal from an advanced intelligence, one that might be trying to warn us, or perhaps guide us towards something greater. Could this be a message from our own future, sent back in an attempt to correct an impending catastrophe? Or is it something else entirely? Something we don't yet comprehend? And if the anomaly wasn't an accident, but a doorway, who or what might be waiting on the other side? If tachyonic waves can influence the past, what if the effects have already been happening without us realizing it? Some scientists speculate that anomalies like the Mandela effect, collective false memories of historical events, could be a sign of quantum fluctuations subtly rewriting reality. Could our experiments with quantum computers be unintentionally altering small fragments of the timeline, creating inconsistencies in human memory? And if that's true, how far does this go? Could larger historical events have already been changed without us ever knowing? Some physicists argue that time isn't a straight line, but a vast interwoven structure of possibilities. If we're tapping into a tachyonic field, are we seeing just the first signs of a technology that could eventually allow us to rewrite reality itself? The implications of manipulating time are so immense that it's unlikely only one group is working on it. Governments, intelligence agencies, and private corporations have a long history of researching physics at the edge of the unknown, often in secret. 
organizations like DARPA, CERN, NASA, and major tech firms could already be years ahead of public discoveries. What if classified quantum research has been manipulating information flow across time for purposes we don't yet understand? Could market fluctuations, seemingly random geopolitical shifts, or even sudden technological leaps be explained by information leaking backward in time? Some theorists argue that classified programs may already be using quantum prediction systems, allowing certain groups to influence world events before they unfold. And here's a chilling thought. What if they aren't just predicting the future, but shaping it? If tachyons are real, they wouldn't just impact physics. They could be connected to paranormal activity, UFO sightings, or unexplained experiences. Some researchers propose that if signals from the future are reaching us, they could explain strange visions, ghostly apparitions, or even bizarre premonitions that people claim to experience. Could deja vu be a side effect of a timeline that's been altered? Could reports of shadowy figures or anomalies in reality be linked to brief moments of time distortion? Some have even speculated that quantum disturbances could provide a scientific basis for legendary phenomena, perhaps even suggesting a connection between tachyons and ancient myths of divine messages or prophetic visions. And what if the anomaly scientists just observed isn't the first of its kind? Could past civilizations have encountered similar disturbances and failed to control them? If so, is that why some cultures vanished without a trace, wiped out by their own experiments with forces they didn't understand? If information is leaking through time, who or what is sending it? Could an advanced intelligence, whether human or something else, be trying to warn us? Or, even more unsettling, could it be trying to control what happens next? If we are on the edge of rewriting time itself, we might not be the ones in control. If this discovery changes everything we know about time, you won't want to miss what comes next. Subscribe now and stay ahead of the biggest breakthroughs in science.